What's going on everyone? It's Halo here, and this video is for any artist out there who's ever doubted their artistic ability or started to lose confidence in themselves. I want to share with you guys one trick that I've used to help me gain confidence in my own artwork whenever I'm feeling down about it. Now before I get into this video, I just want to show you guys what my sketch looks like and how rudimentary I typically start off these drawings that I do. You guys end up seeing all of the end results of the paintings, but you don't usually get to see how crappy they look when I first start them. And I think that's just the point in this day of social media is that we always end up seeing the end result, but we don't ever see any of the internal struggles that people go through to have to get to this point of the end result. Now, I didn't grow up being an artist. I didn't have the gift that everyone says you had. In fact, I really, really felt like art was something I was never going to be able to do. And I think there was a big part of me that even felt ashamed to even start trying doing art because why would I end up trying to do something I was just going to fail at? Now the funniest thing about being an artist is I felt like the more I ended up doing art, the more this feeling would just eventually dissipate and go away and that I'd finally be an artist and I'd finally be confident in myself. Now that feeling never really ended up coming, but I did find ways to cope with it and make it better. And I started noticing that it was possibly just a flaw within doing art itself. You know, when you watch yourself put down a sketch, it's a bunch of marks that you're making that are never perfect. It's just the eventuality that you will get perfect. You know, you're sketching a circle and you make a mark, that's not a circle. You make another mark, that's not a circle. And none of these marks are circles. But what you're trying to do is get to the end result and it'll eventually be a circle. Now, is this circle going to be perfect? No, and that's totally fine. You just fumble your way through towards the end, and that might not seem like good advice, but I promise you it's one of the best advice I've ever given myself to be able to cope with some of that imposter syndrome you feel as an artist, especially while you're creating. The entire process of doing art in general is just making a series of mistakes that you are constantly correcting throughout the process. It's almost like a redefinition of the artistic process, where most people look at the artistic process as the end result. And for me, it's just getting to the end result. And how do you get to the end result? You have to make mistakes. So instead of looking at a mistake as, oh man, this is something I, I messed up on and I'm a failure and I'm never gonna be a good artist, just embrace the fact that mistake making is part of making art. It's honestly only a mistake if you leave it there. It's never a mistake. If you look at most of this video and what I'm doing, I'm just putting down rough basic shapes of where I think things are going to be going. But if you watch closely, you'll see I change everything over and over again. This isn't light enough. This isn't dark enough. This is too big. This is too small. I mean, crap, I changed the, the shape of this bandit probably five, six times. And I never would have known to fix that mistake had I not made the first mistake first. So, for me, it's just retelling myself a story that these mistakes are just part of my process. And the more mistakes I make, the better my art is going to be because it gives me the idea of what needs to be fixed next. Now, before I adopted this process, I used to think every mistake I made was just another affirmation that I was never going to be a good artist and good artists didn't make mistakes like this. And, you know, who do I think I am to do art? I've never done art in my life. And this small adoption, as small as, you know, this might sound in a video, oh, just change your thought process. It, it's a lot harder because it takes practice, but I truly, truly believe that the more you become in touch with the mistakes you make as part of your artistic process, the better you're going to be and the less hard on yourself you're going to be when you do make mistakes. And I specifically wanted to use this video today as a result because on the left hand side you can see what it looks like while it's being done and on the right hand side you can see how many times I have to zoom in, zoom out, and go back and go forth and fix things in different areas just to get my end result. I hope this video helps an artist out who's struggling with their confidence or just doesn't feel like they can get over their artistic block. I promise that this mentality adoption really, really helped me out. It's definitely no secret that being an artist is really a struggle sometimes, especially mentally. And I do believe that if we share tips like this, we can all help each other through it. If you guys enjoy content like this and you want to support the channel, definitely don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again in the next video.